Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to another video you guys have asked me for, but I have not delivered yet because I haven't had the time. But we're gonna do it today. It is my OMG collection. As you guys know, I have been an avid OMG collector, and before the new wave comes out, I figured I may as well show what dolls I already have. So, as you guys know, I have had to order replacements from MGA. So I have a spare Kitty K, as well as a spare Cosmic Nova. I like to just call her Nova, though. And I like to just call her Kitty. Because, you know, nicknames. So now that we've done that, let's move over to my hellish OMG shelf. I'll fix them eventually. It's sunny, but it's not hot out, so... Woo. Starting at the base of my shelf, we have all these accessories that I don't know what to do with yet, including but not limited to the Supersonics instruments and some present surprise things, as well as um, Punk Boy and Rocker, nope, Punk Girl and Rocker Boy's guitar and bass. I don't remember which is which. My girlfriend would be disappointed in me, but I think this one is the bass. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. So, um, these are my Monster Eye dolls, but in here we also have my remix things, as well as Claude's kind of just sticking out from here. I don't have any shoes for him. In here we have some LOLs. I was preparing space to put these ones in there, but I might put some Rainbow High dolls in there, if they fit. We also have um, Missy Meow and Camp Cutie, my two least favorite OMGs. They're just really boring. And behind them, we have some of my other dolls. Yeah, I don't remember all their names right now. And now we can finally move on to the actual OMG shelves, which have quite a lot. We got Dolly, Bad Girl, Metal Chick, Icy Girl, Kitty K, DJ. And she's not the reissue. She is the original Winter Disco Wave. She was very difficult to get, but I got her. Um, what the hell is your name? Ferocious, I think. Big wig, Shadow and Nova. Um, if we move her a little bit, you could see Shadow. I love Shadow. We also have Material Girl, because I refuse to use her real name. Snowlicious, who I... Oh my god, I said delicious. We got Snow. Snowy? I don't know. We also have Lone Star and Honey and Speedster, who is my other least favorite OMG, and Dazzle, and behind the two girls with very puffy hair, we have Groovy and Angles, which is probably hard to see because there's a thing here. What are you doing here? Moving on to this shelf, we have Sun in the way. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. But, um, okay, if I stand like this, it's not. I have the original four OMG dolls right here just because they were kind of what started my collection. Mostly these two. They were the first two I ever got, and the sun is pissing me off. One moment, I'm closing the... Yeah, there we go. Um, I remember getting Lady Diva and Neo a little later, and Punk Girl is only here because I don't know where to put her yet. Same with Rocker Boy. I don't know where he's gonna go. Yeah, I still need to rearrange the shelf. But behind the main four, I forgot to mention that I have Bee's little sister. Found her at a thrift store. We also have, we got all these other ones, dude. There's so many. So many dolls. Got downtown. Yeah, I got downtown. We have, um, the only reason Boss is here, like in the middle of the shelf, is because her hair is so massive. We also have Uptown Girl, what the hell is your name? Fame Queen, and behind them we got Class Prez, who's another one that I kind of like, I guess. She's all right. Uh, Miss Independent, who I still think is very mediocre, so, you know, Miss Mediocre. We also have Alt Girl, Candy, oh, Chillax, Chillax. I gotta remember Chillax, that is my most re viewed review, like, ever. <laughs> Your puff is so big. There's so much hair here. I only mention that because my Rosie, or as her actual name is, Busy BB, I don't like that name, has a much smaller puff. 
I like when they do these puffs, but sometimes they just come out so massive, so large, you know? <laughs> and finally, we got Roller Chick. You might be thinking, Lizzie, didn't you go through these really fast? There's still like, I don't know, like six minutes left in this video. How long is it? Well, that's because I just wanted to show you what's down here. Because up here, oh, my rainbow highs are in the way. You can't see anything up there. Well, um, if I move you, you can see that I have crystal, but it's a little more tricky to get around to show you that I have the Elvis doll jukebox. Yeah, I got jukebox. That's the vibe. But anyway, now we get to the part where I talk about my favorites from my collection because I have every OMG doll to date so far, so you best believe I've got some comments. I want to make it clear that I don't hate these two, I just think Missy is a little... She's a little out there. And Camp Cutie just feels like a lot of missed potential for me. If you like these two, that is great for you, but I'm still gonna get comments being like, eh, how dare you not like them? Because, I don't know. Y'all always do that. But moving on from them, we can get into dolls that I actually adore, such as Dolly. Like, this was the doll from Winter Chill. Not Winter Chill. From Winter Disco that I was most excited for. I remember I was so sad that I actually returned her to get one with better bangs when I got one with horrible bangs. Her hair is really soft and curly still. And I just love that so much. As for Bad Girl and Metal Chick, my Metal Chick has a terrible face. You could see how bad it's printed. But that doesn't stop me from liking her. Also, this thing was hellish to get on because I had to go through great lengths to try not to break her hands because everybody remembers what happened with you. Everybody. As for bad girl, I'm a Billie Eilish fan. I think most people should be. Her hair prevents her head from staying up straight. But you know what? She's still cool. Also, her glasses have to rest in her hair because, you know, they don't really go over her eyes otherwise. Definitely a something they could have worked on. I love the Supersonics pack, honestly. These two just happen to be my favorites from it. That's not to say that I don't also adore Ferocious, because I do. Um, I also like Fame Queen. She's just, you know, there were a lot of problems. Also, while I'm looking at her, I don't, I don't understand this. You guys may or may not know this, but Icy Girl is one of my all-time favorite OMGs. I love her fluffy hat. I love her little fluffy bangs. I love her big fluffy hair. Like, everything about her just looks so cute. Like, her hair reminds me of a poodle. It's just everything. This hair texture is always so soft on OMG hair, too. Like, I can't stop petting it. Which might sound annoying. I know a lot of people who have this hair texture hate when people touch their hair, but on a doll, it's just a lot of fun to play with. I don't get why anyone would ever want to straighten this. It's so good. And then there is, of course, Miss Kitty K, who, if you don't like her, I don't know, I guess you just hate Ariana Grande because she's popular? I don't know. I don't like her music that much, but I can admit she has some looks, and the looks that were combined to create Miss Kitty K... Oh my god, everything just goes so well with her. And then there is, of course, 24 Karat DJ, 24K DJ, who was reissued recently, but I got the original release without the... Um, I believe her hair was made a lot thinner, so mine has the much thicker, fuller hair. Yeah. Um, I don't have much to say other than that, you know, she's really pretty. I'll have to move Metal Chick for this one. Her glasses fell. All right. But Shadow was my original favorite, actually. And I think it still holds up. I bought a skirt thing that looks like this because of her fashion. Like, Shadow honestly was the biggest serve out of the entire Winter Disco line. Which I know might be an unpopular opinion, considering some pretty popular dolls came out of it, such as Dolly, DJ, of course, and um, not gonna say Nova. A lot of people didn't like her. But, um, you know, Snow. And, of course, Crystal, who is... You know, she's still in her box. But I just think Shadow did it best. I don't know. I love her. While I'm going over dolls I love, though, I cannot forget about my original two, Swag and Bee, because 
B was the one who started me on this. I went to Walmart and I just happened to find her. Her hair is still so soft. Oh my god. And my experience with B was just so good that I started to I decided to start buying the rest of them. And look at me now. I had to buy a whole shelf to put all these dolls on. <laughs> I'm in hell. Honestly, there's just so many beautiful OMG dolls that you can buy. I think everyone is capable of finding at least one doll from everyone that's been released that they can absolutely adore. Like, for me, it's probably Icy. Or Dolly. Or Bad Girl. Bad Girl is just so perfect. There's nothing that could have been done better with her. Same with Kitty, actually. I mean, mine has some pretty long bangs, but that's like nothing to complain about, you know? All in all... What can I say? OMG is a great line, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't just a collection the entire time I wanted to talk about some of the dolls, because I have a lot of thoughts. But yeah, um, this video's gone on for a long time, so thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye! God, what the hell am I gonna do with all this?